Hi YouTubers, it's Rob again. Uh, I want to do a short video today about colour in whiskey and what that can tell you about the quality. I did start off by recording a much bigger video about uh, what I look out for when buying whiskey. Colour was one of those things. Um, unfortunately, uh, mainly due to my inexperience and prolixity, it turned out to be a very long and disjointed video, so I've binned it and I'm going to break it up and look at individual topics uh, one at a time. The first of those is colour. Um, colour, in the right circumstances, colour can give you a very good indication as to the quality of a Scotch whisker. It's one of the things that I certainly look out for. Um, the big thing that you have to work, that you have to figure out before you look at the colour is whether or not the colour is natural. So consumers look at the colour and they see a deeper, darker, richer colour uh, as being a higher quality product. And certainly in the absence of any um, artificial colouring, a deeper, darker, richer colour does mean longer maturation or better cask quality. Um, or certainly that this is a, a, an ex sherry cask rather than an ex bourbon cask. You get a deeper, darker colour with a former sherry or port cask than you would with a former bourbon colour. Sorry, with a former bourbon cask. Um, so the first thing to figure out before you even look at the colour is whether or not the colour is natural. Um, fake colour. Um, fake tan as I call it, E150A. Um, distillers have been adding this to whiskies for a long time now. Um, they say that it doesn't affect the um, the flavour of the whisky. I don't think, I think they're probably right, I don't think it does. It's certainly not confectionery caramel that they're using. Uh, it is made with sugar but they uh, it's treated in such a way that it's completely odourless and tasteless. Um, they say that they do it for consistency's sake. Um, I think there's probably some truth in that. Um, I think the main reason that they do it is because the average consumer doesn't look for the words natural colour on the bottle. They just look at you know, what is presented to them. And uh, if they see a deeper colour, it, it stands out as being a better product. Um, it can be deceptive though. It robs us, the people who are more discerning customers, it robs us of that important reference point. So I don't necessarily favour it, I would prefer it if they told us. Um, in the UK and in Canada where I am, it's not a requirement that they disclose if there is, whether or not there is uh, artificial colouring in whisky. In the I believe Germany and Denmark, it is a requirement. So if you pick up a bottle that is destined for the German or Danish market, it will be marked uh, if it contain, if, it, if indeed it does contain um, caramel colouring, it will be marked in German with mit Farbstoff or in Danish with Farbet met Caramel, caramel with a K in Danish. Um, that can be a nice indication if you know to look out for it, but it's by no means um, it's by no means foolproof. Um, let's look at a, an example here. We have this Edredor, which I have reviewed. It's very very good. Um, you'll see it's a lovely dark chestnutty golden colour. This is very very um, pleasing to the eye. But I could not rely on this until I saw the words on the back there. I don't know whether you're not, you can see it, nice and big, natural colour. That makes all the difference to me. Um, it's only a 10 year old, that indicates good cask involvement, high quality ex sherry casks. This here is the Aberfeldy, this is 12 years old. This can, So the Edredor was 10, this is 12. Here we have quite a nice colour as well. But this is E150A. So this, as far as I'm concerned, gives me, the colour here, gives me no help whatsoever with the quality of the whiskey. For what it's worth, I don't think this is very good. Um, 
it doesn't say that it has uh, artificial colouring in it at all. Um, but if you look at the the colour there, it's a slight orangey, marmalade golden colour. And if it's that colour, and it's not a particularly expensive whisky, it's not particularly old, and um, it's made for the mass market, you find it in the supermarket, it's probably artificial colour, and the colour of what you see in the bottle will not help you. Let's put this one to one side. Um, I've got another example here. This is the Glenlivet, 15-year-old, single malt. This is, also has, I believe, um, colour added. Again, it's a nice scotch. You've got another, you've got another five years of maturation here, and you've got this colour. And then here, you've only got ten years maturation. The 15-year-old is lighter, I believe, and um, it's got an extra five years maturation. So what that tells me is that the cast quality in the Edredor is better than that in the Glenlivet. Might be wrong, but that's what, I, that's what it tells me. Um, another way that things can be deceptive or unhelpful uh, this is the Highland Park Dark Origins that I've uh, I've had for a while and I really, really enjoy it. This is a natural colour whisky and I can tell you, having opened it, that it's a lovely, rich, golden um, colour to it. Fantastic. But, <laughs> you're in the shop, you pick it up, the bottle is completely matte black, so you've got absolutely no indication of what's in it. Um, I think they've sold themselves short. It's a bit of a, a shame that they've um, packaged it in that way, I have to say. Um, not taking, not trying to take anything away from them. Um, that's the way that they've chosen to package the product. Uh, it's very good that, they've, uh, that this is natural colour and it says uh, quite clearly on the, on the label here, uh, I've, just, I've said that but I've just lost it. Yeah, it says that it's natural colour on this label, uh, reasonably clearly. Um, it's a shame that they've um, bottled it in a matte black, wheelie bin coloured bottle, to my mind. Okay, that's just a quick um, run through. Um, if a whiskey is coloured with caramel, is artificially coloured, that does not mean that it's a bad whiskey. It just means that you have to look beyond the appearance of the spirit in the bottle, if indeed you can see it, it's not in the wheelie bin bottle, um, in, order to make, in order to help with your decision as to whether or not you buy it, you need to look beyond the colour because it is a fake tan. Okay, I hope this has been of use to everybody. Um, I keep saying it, I'm by no means an expert. The knowledge that I have, I, I, I share quite happily. Um, Please take it all very much with a pinch of salt. Feel free to uh, to comment on this video. I respond to all comments on my videos. Um, please do subscribe and get in touch. I love hearing from everybody. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon.